Bast fibers are collected from the phloem of plants. And this is probably the largest group of fibers we've got or the largest representations in here we've got. Some of the more important fibers that are found. Linen is one of the oldest known fibers. They have records of it from 36,000 years ago in the form of dyed fibers, which means that humans have been dealing with linen for a long period of time. Linen produces a very high quality, breathable fiber. It is very durable. It lasts for long periods of time. It can be used for very high quality materials. The plant is the flax plant. It's got a pretty blue flower. It produces a capsule that is full of seeds. You can harvest the linen seed. They do sell linen seed oil. We call it linseed oil. Out of it, you get a high quality fiber. This is a picture of linen from a shirt. You can see that it's a little bit thicker as far as the size of the fibers go. It makes a very durable sort of material. We also have hemp. Hemp is cannabis sativus. This is not to be confused with marijuana. I'm not sure what's the whole difference between the two. In this particular case, you're looking at the fiber type material. It grows in a fiber like this. You see the stalks down the middle. What you're really looking for in this case is the stalk fibers that will be used to be processed on to make fibers from that. It is used to make a very rustic type of cloth. I'm not going to say it's a real high quality type of cloth, but it is a durable type of cloth. You can see here a picture of a cloth made out of hemp. Hemp has been used as a fiber for over 10,000 years that we know of. We don't know if they were smoking it back then or not. It's used as a fiber. It's often mixed with other fibers when you're making cloths. You may cut the hemp with something like cotton to make it a a nicer type of fiber and there are many different uses for it. You can also buy hemp seed. This is a picture of a hemp seed. It's a nutritious superfood, high in protein. This is, comes out of Canada and this is not supposed to have the THC content that marijuana would have. We have what we call jute. Jute is used to make burlap, hessian, or gunny cloth. They're all basically the same terms. It's a coarse, strong fiber. When you look at jute, you can see that this particular material looks like it's got a very coarse texture to it. This is actually a necktie that I have that dates back to the 1960s. It is a very unique sort of material, but it's lasted very long. Jute is in the family Malvasi, which means it's in the family that you get cut. This is what the plant looks like. It's got a very interesting type flower in it. You can see that they harvest basically the stems. The stems get dried. You can see on this particular fence row that they are drying this material. From this, they will bale that up and they will sell it or they will use it to make fabric. A lot of times jute is made to make cord. This is a jute cord that you can purchase at a lot of different places. It's a high quality type fiber. One of the things that will happen is it will break down over time. Many times they use jute to do things like macrame, which are knotted pieces of twine. We've got milkweed. Milkweed is asclepia. It's used as a floss for the use of fillers and insulation. The fibers are from the cambium. It can be used for cord. This is what the plant looks like. You're going to use the central stalk for the fibers. This is what the flowers look like. They are typical Asclepia type flowers. Then out of this you'll have the formation of a capsule. The capsule is not what you're using to make the material. Rami is used for high quality textiles. It's one of the oldest fibers that we know of. It's in the family Urticaceae, which is the same family we get things like stinging nettle out of, which means that it's got certain properties in it that have to be removed in order to be able to make it usable. It is a very high quality type material that can make a very durable textile. When I mean very durable, it wears like it won't wear out. You can keep it around for a long period of time. This is what the plant looks like. When you extract the fiber from it, this is what the fiber looks like. Then out of this, you can take these fibers and you can make a very high quality thread and out of that, you make a high quality textile. Then you get a very nice material that you can use. When we're looking at these, up to this point, this all talks about bast fibers, which come from the phloem of the stem 